this is a good story. The deal back at the station was always that if you can get a one-on-one -on -one interview with Paul Newman, you got a day off. Because it's Paul Newman, and nobody ever got a one-on-one -on -one with him. That was our news director's edict, Paul Lewis, who I still keep in touch with. He said, Jimmy, you get a one-on-one -on -one interview with Paul Newman, you get a day off. I think it was just a, a preview to the season, and Paul Newman was one of the drivers out there, part of the series that was going to race that weekend. He was a regular out here. And lo and behold, after the media had finished with everything, I kind of went over to him and I said, no, Paul, because we were on a first name basis, can I take a look at, at your car, the number 80 car at that time? He was 80 years old. He had the number 80 car. And he said, sure. And then while we were sort of over, as I remember, while we were sort of over at his car, we began talking, we shot it. And technically, that's your one-on-one -on -one interview with Paul Newman. The rest is history. I know how passionate he was. I remember speaking to his team about it. And he took this, this wasn't just sort of a, a sideshow. This was, you know, he was a living, breathing race car driver and a living, breathing leading man in Hollywood. And they were mutually exclusive, both of those two roles. He took it very seriously. His team took it very seriously. And I think he was a real contender in his prime as a race car driver and was a fixture here at Lime Rock. This is sort of a fraternity, right? The race car world. And when you get in, seemingly you get in and you sort of earn your, you earn your, you, you earn your keep, you earn your props. And uh, he had that with other drivers and other drivers from what I saw had that with him, but he was definitely part of the fabric out here. There was no doubt about that. You know, I remember asking him which is more exciting, to, to be leading a movie as a leading man or leading a race as leader of the pack? And I, I think he kind of liked that, but he, he said they're obviously, they were very different. And look, it's, you're never going to forget interviewing Paul Newman at Lime Rock Park in Lakeville. I'm still waiting for the day off. When life hands you lemons, you make lemonade. And when life hands you a super class GT Corvette, you make some noise. Academy Award winning silver screen legend Paul Newman is doing both. We're just checking the setup on the, on the car and the gearing and uh, shock settings and all that. There he was, Paul Newman making his practice rounds for this weekend's Burnham Hydronics 200 at Lime Rock. It is the real deal. It is fender to fender. They're going to be running flat out. Even at 80, 80 years old, he still expects to be the leading man. Apparently, as the RPMs go up, the age goes down. He's still a young man in spirit and in heart, and when he gets behind the wheel, those years just fall off. He's very competitive, wants to win, and that's, that's what we're here for this weekend. You have to have a cool hand to drive this thing. 2,800 pounds, 750 horsepower, and it's got, of course, the number 80 on it. The number goes up every year. It's a Trans Am type car, tubular frame, a lot of horsepower. And we get around the course in under a minute. So what's a better role? A starring role or this role? The exhilaration is the same but, but different. Uh, completely different uh, venues and um, I get as much fun out of one as I do the other. And don't count out the 80 car. He may be a year older, but he doesn't seem any slower. So we expect he'll be right there at the front of the field and that he's going to be a major factor in the race. We'll run well. At Lime Rock Park, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News at 10.